Hello, thanks for joining me again. Um, this week I'm going to tie a spinner pattern. It's an idea that I got from Glenn Pointing. I don't know if he came up with it himself or uh, he stole the idea from someone, but it's, a, it's fa a fantastic idea and I hope you enjoy the video this week. So in the vise, I've got a Hanak H130 barbless hook and it's at size 14. And I'm going to be using some Fish on Ultimate Tine Silk today. This is in the, the olive green. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of super glue to the shank as it's got the same sort of properties as the Vivas. It, it is quite slippy on the hook. Even with wax, it doesn't quite hold firm. So I like to just bear in the thread with a little touch of super glue and I'm going to catch my thread in there like so. I can use the rat's tail as a guide and when I get near to the back I can snip that away. Okay, the fibres I'm going to use for the tail <clears throat> are just from a little cock hackle and I'm just going to take a few fibres it's green this one. You can get some really interesting artificial fit, fibbits, I think they're called. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I'm just going to use these. I don't. I don't think it's that important. You don't want a big clump of them, so I'm just going to take my time, thin them out a little bit, so I've got approximately four or five. The fish don't count. Last I checked, so. I'm not going to be too pedantic about that. I'm going to catch them in there. And I want my tails quite long. Not quite that long though. So once I'm happy with the length, I can then concentrate. Sorry, I'm, my fingers are in the way there. Just have it. Take that away. And then what I'm going to do next is just build up the tiniest taper to the body just bear with me folks it takes a little bit of time but I want to get it right and I'm happy enough with that so next, I'm going to come in with my, uh, the thread green already, but just to belts and braces, I've got an olive green pro marker here, and I just want to give that a little bit of colour to get it darker green. Now, I'm going to take my dubbing needle next and take a little bit of my very thin UV resin. Just need a spot on that. No more, doesn't need to be thick. Now the UV resin, what it does, it adds the tiniest bit of weight, which will uh, help take my body down into the film. And it gives it a nice sort of shine. Like it makes it makes it a little bit more um, realistic. So just make sure that's cured off. So next, I'm going to add my um, wing casing. Now I'm using some of this, it's a, it's a closed foam, it's, it's very thin, I'm afraid I can't remember where I got it, but what I've done is I've cut in a little strip off, as you can see here, and I'm going to tie that in at the front here. Just get the first loop in, it's always the hardest. Now 
And once I've got that in place, I can bring it forward to check it where it is on my body, and that's fine. And before I do anything else, I'm going to add a little bit of wax to my thread because I'm about to tie in my my wings. So what I'm going to use for the wings is, in the past, I've often used uh, Aero Wing, but I've just bought some of this stuff. Um, it's called Ultra Yarn, and it's from Fish On, and it comes in different colours. This is the white, and I've cut a small section of this off to form my wing. Now, getting this started is always the, the, the toughest part. So, what I'm going to do is be all fingers and thumbs at the minute and try and do it without having to move the vise. So, there's the first wrap in, always the toughest. So if I turn that now, I'm going to catch the next bit in, sorry, the next bit in, like so, and I've got two or three wraps in there now, and I can just do a few figure of eights, like so. And that's looking okay. Now, at this point, I want to level up my my wings so what I'm going to do is bring everything up and I'm just going to use my scissors to trim them so that they're, they're nice and even now that's sitting nice so happy enough with the wings next I'm going to add a little bit of snowshoe in at the thorax here so I'm just going to take little tiny tiny pinch from the inside the snowshoe makes lovely dub in this and I'm going to catch that in like so then before I go forward with the wings I want to get a couple of wraps in just in behind the wings here and then one turn over that way one turn over that way Bring everything back with the thumb and forefinger and that can then come to the front like so. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that so far. So next, I've just got to bring my thorax cover over the top and catch it in with one turn. Bring everything back out the way while you build your head. Get your thread in front of the waist then I can come in with my snips and just carefully remove the remainder of the thorax cover. Okay, thumb and forefinger back, all the materials back and build a nice little head there. Now to finish this off I'm going to just put a tiny little bit of UV resin on my thread and a few more turns Secure it off. Best to cure the UV before you snip your thread away on this occasion. Then I can come in with my snips and just remove that. Okay, so that looks like the fly is finished and. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it nearly is. So I just bring in my dubbing brush and I've got my little spinner pattern here and uh, anyone that's fished the spinner fall near night time will know that it's uh, it can often be extremely difficult to see a fly in the water and, and this is the genius uh, Glenn Poynton's idea. So what he does is he uses some of this stuff and um, it's like a UV dust 
which I've got in a packet here, and it glows in the dark once it's been shown UV light. So I'm going to show you how to prepare this now. It's fairly simple. You get it off eBay. I'll, I'll try and find it and put the link in the uh, descriptions below. But I take a little bit of dust from the packet. I don't want too much because I'm only doing the one fly here. But uh, what I usually do is I'll do a, a big load of these flies and then do this part. So I've just switched to the other camera now and I've put a little bit of dust onto the card here. And I'm just going to add a few drops of UV resin. Like so. Then make sure my double needle is clean. Come in. And just mix that all together. Then I can take up a bit on my dubbing needle. I'm going to come back onto my fly now and add a little spot and just coat my thorax cover in this. Once that's done, again, you come in with your UV torch and you can see it lighting up actually uh, already so once this is cured at night i've got a little tiny uv torch that i keep in my vest and when the fall is happening it's, as it's getting darker i simply activate the uv with my uv torch and when the lights go out you just lift and hopefully you've got a fish on the end so thanks very much to Glenn Poynton for the idea and uh, I hope that's shown you something you might not have seen before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.